While these stories do suffer from similar issues to other 13th Doctor episodes such as pacing, too much exposition, and not really being that original, I still consider these festive episodes to be a highlight of the Chibnall era for how they handle the Daleks. At least for series 11 and 12, I appreciate the fact that they pushed their appearance to the festive story, which helped to ease the saturation which we usually feel with the Daleks having to appear every season. Not to mention Chibnall clearly loves writing for the Daleks. The concepts of a Dalek mutant trying to survive without its casing or a Dalek civil war, they're not the most unique ideas but they are interesting and executed really well here. Whenever the Daleks are on screen it's really enjoyable to watch. Resolution does have some issues when cutting away from the Dalek plot. Ryan's relationship with his dad is fine but I'm not that invested and the rest of the cast really don't have anything to do till the third act so the pace does go up and down across that story. Revolution of the Daleks does try to improve upon this by giving Ryan and Graham a really good send off and a decent start to exploring Yaz a bit more and setting up a potential relationship between her and the Doctor which is also hinted in either the Daleks even if it ultimately doesn't end up going anywhere it's a strong start at at least. While I like all of the ideas that Revolution of the Daleks tries to explore, I don't think it really has that much time to do them all justice, such as the Doctor being in prison and the fam attempting to solve the situation without her because she ends up just turning up relatively early on in the story. With that said, I still consider it my favourite of the three, as it's the most entertaining. They give us some of the best Dalek action since Remembrance. Some of the casting hasn't aged well, but I'm not going to hold that against this episode. Bar the awkward romance, I think either the Daleks is fine, and is the one that makes the most of the shift to New Year's Day, which I know is one of the major criticisms of these stories, not embracing the festive period, but that wasn't always the case for the previous specials, so it doesn't bother me. The only issue I had with it is that now Christmas Day was just a bit boring during this run. But what do you think of the Chibnall specials? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.